Right, welcome back. Moving swiftly on with my next project. This is the second of the four kits that I bought from the Toy Fair at the NEC in Birmingham. And unlike the Monster Coach, this one was an absolute bargain. And at £10, you can't moan. So here is the kit. As you can see, it is the Kazon Raider from Star Trek Voyager by Revel Monogram. This was actually sealed. Considering this kit was probably made in what 97 maybe Anyway, there's the box Nothing really to write home about. I mean you got the picture there uh, You got the other kits Voyager and the Marquee Raider But not bad for the tenor especially as it was sealed And as you can see All the parts the screws are still in their bags. So give me a second. I shall unpack them Right as you can see, I've unpacked all the sprues now, took them out of the bags. This kit was actually made in 95, not 97. And I can say, the guy who bought it off at the Toy Fair has really looked after it. I mean, you can see on the box, there's only a couple of dents on the box. So he's really looked after this kit. Right, the pieces are moulding like a tan brown. You can see there, there's the half, main, the one half of the main, um, the main hull. There's obviously an insert that's got to go in there. We've got all the bits for the hull as well. And you've got the second half of the main hull. I think that might be the stand. Various other bits for the hull. Uh, more bits of the hull there, out of pieces. That was actually folded over slightly in the bag. And there are the inserts to go in those holes. Uh, some more hull pieces maybe for the side. I think this might be the underside belly backbone, this piece in my hand. And then you've got the various hull, the hull pieces, that might be the uh, actual stand for it to go on. I mean, you can see by the size of my hand, this is no small model. But for the £10 that I paid, this was an absolute, absolute bargain. It really, really was. Right, going on to the instructions, fairly easy, but the one thing I have noticed. It's got black, orange, uh, I think that's medium, medium green and purple. But if you look on the instructions, I mean they're fairly straightforward as you can see. You glue the two halves together, you've got all the outer hull parts there. And the bottom fin and the stand and everything else, final assembly. And you've got the hull. I'm going to have to primer this and paint it then put the whole pieces on because if I put that on there I'm not going to be able to paint underneath but if you look at there you can see body tan you've got the red orange, the purple the, um, the green bits at the front there but it, do, it just best body tan and if you look on the instructions it's got the federal standard colours but there's no federal standard colours for the body tan Weird how they've not not included the body tan, but every other colour. But again, those are the instructions. It's fairly easy. I mean, that's what it looks like when it's built up, as you can see. Again, decals and paint, which I've highlighted that body tan. And then you've got the decal sheet. Pretty basic. You've got the two main Kazon um, logos there. Those, are main, those top ones are for the main of the windows. And then you've got J, J, K and J. I don't know what the hell they're for. I mean, I'll find out in the plans, but not too bad of a model. Well, there it is, guys. I'm sure you'll agree that for £10, this model was an absolute bargain. So it's time to crack on. Stay with me. OK, as you can see, I've started construction on the uh, Kazon Raider now. Going to the plans, you've got the two halves. You got the inserts which go into the holes of the halves, and then you got this little dinky ion collector. So as you can see, I've got the two halves ready. I've also put the inserts in from the inside and used my electrical tape to hold them down. As you can see on the other side as well. So those are glues drying. Then you've got the dinky little ion collector which is that there. So once the two halves go together. I'll be able to go in from underneath and then push that into place up here. 
And then last but not least, you've got the little number three part, which is the bottom of the hull, which is that thing there. And eventually, once the two holes go together, that will go all the way down the back there. Not much, but definitely something. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. As you can see, I've completed the first page. Basically what I did, uh, before I ran the glue round both halves, um, underneath there, on this side, I ran some glue, ran the ion collector, and then underneath, before I put the spine in, I pushed my file all the way through and pushed the ion collector into place and held it what, until the glue went tacky. Then I ran the glue all the way around and put it together because there's some hole locating holes and tabs all the way around. So that was dead easy to put in. Then I glued the spine in, as you can see, and then wrapped some tape round all the way around. I've got a bit of filling to do here and there. As you can see, I've got a bit of filling to do on the nose section of the spine. I've also got some filling to do around the ion collector, as you can see, all the way around, especially there, you can see there's a big massive hole. You can see there's, um, all the way down there, I've got some seam, seam filing to do, as you can see, all the way on the top. None on the bottom as of yet, as you can see, so that's alright. You can see that there's two holes there, each side, for those where the wings have got to go. And you can see there's a hole here at the top, there's a hull cap that I've got to put on. But, I'm definitely getting there, stay with me. And another quick update for you. On the radar, you can see that I've put the uh, top cap on now. Uh, might have to do a bit of filling around the edges. Uh, that one don't look too bad, but that definitely possibly need more need filling in on the front there. And I've also done the rear wings. As you can see, I've glued the two halves together. Uh, seven onto five and six onto eight. And you can also see that that's where I've put the tape round. So the wings are now ready to go onto the main hull. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. As you can see, I've done all the uh, seam work now. There's a little bit here and there, but I'm hoping once it's primed, it should cover it up. You can also see that I've filled in the hole there on the ion collector with the putty. And you can see that I've put the rear wings on now, but there was some confusion with the rear wings. As you can see on the plans, it tells you to push them into the holes, and then, this is from underneath by the way, and you've got these long sections here that go on the, t on the top on the back, underneath. They don't, they actually go on the top, on the top. I tried to make a sandwich piece, because you can see, just under there, you can see that it's, um, it's glued together. I tried to make a sandwich piece around that section there, but I had a massive gap all the way down there and then I realized I took it off luckily the glue hadn't dried and I pushed it back into place and I put it actually on top of the wink and it fitted in perfect so a bit of confusion there but she's now ready for primer stay with me okay another quick update for you as you can see the uh, Kazon Raider is now primed. Not too bad of a job. It's gone down really, really well. I'm especially impressed around the um, ion collector when I've filled in with a putty. It's gone down a bloody treat. Not bad underneath either. Not too bad. So now it's time to start painting. Stay with me. Okay, welcome back guys, another quick update for you. As you can see, it's half and half on the radar. Basically what I did is I've painted the uh, left half of the radar um, in the number 26 acrylic brown, which is, a, which is khaki brown from Humbrol. 
I've done it all by hand, you can see I've done it all over. Not bad for a first coat, not too bad at all. Again, you can see it's half and half. It's gone down quite well actually, not too bad. Another thing I've done as well is I've bought myself a new primer. I've, I've primed the, uh, some of the parts that go on the outer hull. And the primary in question is Holtz Siemens Acrylic Primer Spray Paint. It's like a light grey compared to the dark grey of the Halfords. I mean, you can see the contrast and difference. You can see it's a very light grey. It's cost me £3.99 a can for the same 500ml where Halfords is 750 a can and after the reviews on Brit Modeler I thought I'd give it a try. Now compared to the um, Halfords the Holt is actually a bit more smoother than the um, Halfords because the Halfords is a bit like a rough edge where this is actually quite smooth it's not too bad at all so let's see how I get on with this tomorrow on the other half and then start painting the uh, parts that I've primed with the new primer. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. Just a quick update. As you can see, I've painted the right side of the radar to match the left side in the 26 brown by Humbrol, and it's matched it quite well. Not too bad at all. Also, now all I've got to do now is paint the underneath, because as you can see, it's still primed. And using the uh, new primer that I bought, because the Halfords is 750 a can, the Siemens Holtz one was actually 399 a can. I'm going to see how the 26 brown will go down on top of that. Stay with me. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I've started the outer hull construction now. I've put the scoop covers in. There's one there. There's one there. Then you've got the uh, warp core which goes in there, you need to put that in first. Then you've got the warp core cover, then you put that in on top of that. Um, you've got the uh, shield emitter there which is covered by some tape. Because I've just not long put the other s sides on as you can see, there's the warp, um, there's the warp core. I haven't put the warp core cover on yet, you can see it there. The shield emitter hasn't gone on yet, which I've got to put on. But you've got the two scoop covers. Now the one thing I noticed, when I took the tape off that side, I used my normal electrical tape, and it actually took some of the um, primer off with it. So this time I've used normal household tape. You can see I've got the clamp working on the top scoop cover, because it kept trying to push out that way, so that's to stop that pushing out. Then, you can also see, I've started on the uh, plasma connector walls, collector walls I should say, the three pieces, you've got the two outer sides and then you've got the inner there, so that's that done, all taped, because the glue's drying, and then you've got the fin and the neutrino filters, so there's the neutrino filter on the fins there, and they're just drying as well. But that's where I'll sit in the moment, guys. Stay with me.